your classroom, but you don't want to print them all out and file them away? Do you want to use technology, but afraid that it's too complicated? In today's video, I am going to share with you about Slidekick. It is an app that allows you to have access to over 10,000 Google Slides to use in your lessons. And it is an easy peasy way of including lesson related props into your lessons. If we haven't met, my name's Audrey from TeacherAudrey123.com. And on this channel, you will find videos about teaching, creating, and inspiration to keep on keeping on. Like I said, today we are going to talk about Slidekick. You might be thinking, what is Slidekick? That is a great question. Slidekick is a database, actually a website if I understand right, that has a list of a bunch of digital rewards and a list of a bunch of digital props that are related by topic and lesson that many VIP Kids teachers have taken the time to create. What is awesome is that you have access to all of these for absolutely no charge. If you get value of, out of them, you can leave a tip to help support um, these generous givers. Um, and also, if you, once you dive in and you find that you like Google Slides and using the Slidekick and you want to create your own with your own little twist, you are able to do that and submit it and you can add to the forever growing database. So with no further ado, I am going to walk through with you and show you how to get the Slidekick app onto your phone. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is to log into Facebook and then search the groups for VIP Kid Google Slides Group Official. Um, if you do not have Facebook, you can email me and I will um, connect you with the information that you need to access this outside of um, Facebook. So once you click on it, um, you will be asked a series of questions to be accepted to, to the group because this is a closed group open to um, VIP Kid Teachers. And then you will go to the announcements and you will find a section that says slide guide. This is going to be the information that you need to help you set up your slides on your phone or iPad. So you click on it and it will show you what you need to do. Now, I want you to go to the Facebook group and go through the steps. It's very self-explanatory. And then we will jump over on my phone where I have the app pulled up and we will see what it's like from there. Okay, so you're all logged in by following the steps that Megan gave on her um, training. And now what you will want to do is go down to this icon here with a kind of a Z, fat Z. And you click on the fat Z. Then this will show all the different lessons that um, VIP Kid offers. You'll want to go to your VIP Kid teaching app. And okay, so now if you look here, it shows my class for tomorrow. And so therefore, I'm going to enter that into where it says lessons and search by code. So let me show you. So I'm going to enter the code right here. MC level two. Unit four. And if you see it, like start showing and getting you closer and closer. And she's on lesson 12. So you could write it all the way out or scan or scroll through and click the one that you want. And then since we're talking about props, we're going to go to the props section. And you can see that there's five choices 
um, you can either figure out who you like the best as you go and just always go to them, or before each class you can go and open up. Um, today I'm going to do Beth Pinders, and then I will open the link. And I typically do this right before class starts. So a minute or two before class starts, I um, type the student's information in, and then I have their information um, ready to go. And I have my phone set up so I can turn it, and it will take up the whole screen. And if you just hit this play button and present on this device, then you're able so now I have my slides ready, and you want to hold up your phone and kind of tilt it so it doesn't have a glare. Because if you have it like this, it can be, um, it can have a glare. So just tilt it a little bit. And if you just press each, the screen each time, it will flip. So there's the Mario Brothers. So when you're doing Brothers, you can hold it up and say, Brothers. Let them look. And then I always just kind of go through with it. And then whenever I decide, oh, this is the one I want, I will hold it up. So, for example, the verb conjugations, I will hold up. I'll go, I talk, you talk, we talk. They talk. And just watch your eye on the computer and where your finger is um, so you can point and help your student along. So I really hope that this video shows that you can use technology in a simple way and that you don't have to print off a bunch of props to use in your classroom. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And in the comments below, let me know if you have any questions about using Slidekick. Also, let me know what your goal is in integrating technology into your classroom. If you like today's video, please give it a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to get to know you and encourage you along your way as you build your VIP kid business. Have a great one. Bye.